Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. So for most people, it is the middle of summer, and for us deer hunters, it is time to start thinking about deer season. It's time to start getting our trail cameras up, start thinking about getting our stands up. Today, I'm at a spot that someone told me about last year in some private land. Earlier this year, I already put up a tree stand, but I'm gonna be putting up a new trail camera today from a company called Wing Home, and we're gonna kind of go over what the camera is about, what it can do, put it up for a little while and see what it can do. Uh, so you guys stay tuned. And also before we get into the video today, make sure you head over to Instagram, follow me on Instagram, it's VT Outdoor Man. Uh, pretty soon I am gonna be dropping a link to my merch store where I will have VT Outdoor Man apparel and also my certified Patriot line. Okay, so I hiked back into the spot. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my tree stand up where I put it here. I'll give you guys a look from the tree stand here in just a few minutes. Uh, I do already have a trail camera up here. And I'm thinking about leaving that one here and facing in a different direction because we've been able to sort of mow some paths uh, for the deer to come through all this thick stuff before they head out to the fields. So, and then this way we can get a good comparison of some of our other cameras versus this new camera. This is the Wing Home 630M trail camera. Uh, you can find this over on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Um, I'll also put all of the specifics about this camera down in the description. Right now, I'm just gonna go over a few of the key features for this. So this is a 16 megapixel camera. It's got a very wide angle. It's a 100 degree angle. The other thing that I like about this, the sensor in here is actually made by Sony. So it's a top quality sensor. It has a super fast trigger speed that's less than a half a second. Fully waterproof. It's got slots on the side for the strap to go through or if you wanted to use some of the bungee cords you can go ahead and use that inside it's got the screen for viewing it's got all your little adjustments here for setting up the camera it takes eight double a batteries so not too bad um, as most small cameras now take double a batteries overall you know it, it looks it feels pretty good but we're gonna slap some batteries in throw in an sd card throw it on the tree and see what kind of stuff we get
Whew, okay, I made it back to the Jeep and holy shit, the sun came out. I haven't seen the sun in days. But I got the camera set up. I realized I forgot to give you guys the view from the tree stand. So I want to go back to check the camera. I'll give you a look around then. All right, now I have it set for just pictures and I have it on the 1080 um, video settings. So I'll give it a few days. I know we've been getting deer and some fawns going by down here and uh, hopefully we get some good pictures and I can compare them to some of the other cameras. Then I'll switch it over to video and we'll see what kind of videos we get. How's it going guys? We are back at the tree stand today. It has been three days since we put the trail camera up. So we're gonna take a look, see what could be on this thing. So it looks like we got 71 pictures. Holy smokes, hopefully it's the deer, not just brush and everything. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the up arrow here which is gonna bring us into the picture viewer. So let's scroll through and see what we got here. So the quality in the pictures here are actually pretty good. Um, the deer that it's picking up are probably a good 15, 20 yards out. And it's not getting a whole lot of interference from all of these ferns and tall, um, what is that, I think it looks like goldenrod right now. And we got a ton of raspberry and blackberry bushes here. It's been kind of windy and rainy and I'm really only getting pictures of deer. So I'm now, I'm gonna switch this over to the camera setting and see what kind of videos that we get on that. The camera that I have on the backside here is only set to video right now. So we'll get some video from this and I'll show you some video from that camera so we can have a little bit of a comparison. I think the one that's over here is a wild game innovation. So I think that's mostly what we have. Uh, we may have one Moultrie, but I don't think it's this one. So I'll switch it over to video and then I'm gonna head up into the tree stand. I'll give you guys kind of a view of what we're gonna be looking at when we're in the stand this year. Made it up to the tree stand. So look around. Behind me here is where that trail is, where the camera right now is facing, where we got the deer coming in. And then down below here, you'll see the trail comes through here. The trail heads up. And then also on this side, we've got another trail coming through down through here, and it which heads up. And then also we have a trail that's right outside here that kind of comes around over here down to this one. So the main trail that the deer are using is the one that's back to my right where our camera currently is facing. Uh, the one that I turned around and faced over to my left does have a little bit of deer activity, but I don't think that's where the deer are bedding. I think that they're bedding kind of back to my right over here. And having this mowed path through here has really helped filter the deer down through here. Uh, there's just a ton of undergrowth down here. There's a little bit of grass over here that I think that they're feeding off of before they start to head out to the field. They still got a ways to go before they head out to the field. So I feel like this is kind of like a staging area where they kind of feel safe meander around and all this pucker brush with just tons of raspberries and just undergrowth here that I think they're kind of hanging out in early in the evening before they decide to head out. So I'm hoping come bow season, the deer is still gonna be filtering through here. I'm gonna leave the cameras up. Uh, like I said, right now I've got the one down below set on video and We'll compare that to some video that I have on the wild game, but so far it's looking to take some pretty good quality pictures. We're going to let it sit for a few days. I'll come back, check to see what we have on video, and kind of give you guys an update so you guys stay tuned. How's it going, guys? We are back at the tree stand again. Uh, but before we check the videos on this, I just want to mention, if you go to purchase this camera on Amazon and you want to save 5% off the camera, use the code VTOUTDOORMAN and you can save yourself 5% off the camera. Oh, looks like we've got 33 pictures, or 33 videos, excuse me. Oh, this should be good. Okay, so now that you guys have seen some of the 
quality of the video from the swing home camera let's roll a couple of videos from our wild game one so you can kind of compare the two and see that this one takes some pretty good video quality So you can see the quality of the pictures and the videos in this wing home is really good, especially for people getting into hunting or, you know, if you're a person that likes to use a lot of trail cameras and you just don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, this is a great camera for you. Uh, again, use the code VTOutdoorMan if you want to save 5% off this. I'll leave all the specifics about the camera down in the description below. I'll leave a link to bring you to the store so you can pick a camera up for yourself. Uh, we'll still continue scouting. I'll have some other videos coming out soon about that. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.